Shay and Alam's baby was stillborn during childbirth. Her traumatic labour tore a hole, an obstetric fistula, and she couldn't control her urine. A and Alan was terrified and hid herself away in shame. She thought a cure was impossible. A and Alan is just one of thousands of Ethiopian women living with this horrific childbirth injury, not knowing they can be helped. Australian gynaecologist Dr Catherine Hamlin first witnessed the devastating effects of obstetric fistula when she arrived in Ethiopia in 1959. She devoted her life to treating and caring for women with fistula injuries. If you could see our patients when they arrive in sorrow and sadness and dereliction because they've had nothing in life. They've lost their baby, they've lost their husbands, often, mostly, and they've lost all their self-respect because they're incontinent of body waste. They can't mix with their society. And then we see them cured going home on dancing feet. Catherine had a vision of a fistula-free Ethiopia. She knew it was possible, if not in her lifetime, then in ours. Project Zero is Hamlin Fistula Ethiopia's visionary new program to finally achieve Catherine's vision, step by step, warrida by warrida. And you can be part of it. Hey, my name is Hannah Spai. Basically, I'm a midwife. I do have a master's degree in public health. And currently, I'm working as a team leader in this project. Some people didn't know what uh, fistula is, and some of them know the word and think that like it's a curse or it cannot be cured. While we are doing a house-to-house -house activity, we are going uh, to their homes, knock their door, and ask if there is a woman who had the injury of obstetric fistula, who has, uh, who faced obstetric fistula, to identify if in case there is a new case. If a woman is free from obstetric fistula, uh, she is a backbone of the family, she is a woman, she is a sister, a mother and a wife, so the family will be a productive and the generation will be productive. I am Dr. Zahra Saleh, an anesthetician and gynecologist and a fistula surgeon at Hamlin Fistula Ethiopia Med Center, and I've been working there for the past six years. It's also responsible for improving maternal health care in the Warada because it's not only looking for patients that Project Zero is dealing with, it also uh, improves the awareness of the maternal health care both in the community and also for the healthcare professionals. Ayan Alam heard a Project Zero outreach announcement on the radio urging women with fistula injuries to come forward. With the help of Hamlin Fistula Ethiopia staff, she finally made her way to Hamlin's Metu Fistula Hospital, where she regained her life through treatment and care. Ayan Alam told us she had no words to express her happiness at being cured. <laughs>